welcome. Thanks so much for being here, friends. We have a 30 minute floor core workout. You're gonna need a mat, towel, water. We're gonna do 22 exercises, 60 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, no repeat. Let's go. All right, we're starting with inchworms. Soften those knees, inhale up, exhale, bow, walk it forward. Walk it back, roll it up, then a chair squat at the top. Do it again, reach up, exhale, bow, walk it forward, walk it back. Bend the knees, roll it up, chair. Yeah, keep going, reach. This is part of our warm up here, a little stretch. A little activation for your shoulders and activation for your legs right there. 60 seconds here. Make it count. Soften those knees, pull your belly button in. Now our first few moves are designed to warm you up safely dynamically and rest. Okay, second move. We're gonna do some standing knee to elbows here. So fingertips behind your ears, little cross and cross. You can do whatever pace you want, on the music, off the music, totally up to you. Roll those shoulders down your back. If you're on a thick, squishy mat, you can hop off of it. Ready, let's go. Think about pulling belly button in, getting that knee up nice and high. Warm it up. Now I know in the intro I said it's gonna be floor core. So down on the ground, it is. Most of the workout is on the floor. Just this first part has you up so we can warm things up. Almost halfway. Can get your knee a little higher. Pick it up, pick it up. Now you don't have to wear shoes for this workout because there's no jumping. You might even be fully on a mat or a towel the whole time. So feel free to kick off your shoes. Elbows wide. Water if you need it in these 20 second breaks. I'm gonna grab a sip. Hopefully I have a preview window up for you. Up next, windmills. Feet nice and wide. Toes to me, heels back. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Ready, go right. Stretch the inner thigh. Little twist in the back. Bend the knee. Good. So I'm starting to get warm. <laughs> Exercise three right here. We have three more that I would count probably as warm up moves. But you could absolutely work these moves. You can make them slower or faster to meet your individual needs. Smile, okay? That burns more calories too. Use muscles in your face. <laughs> and they'll give you some happy hormones. Come on, come on. And even on both sides. So, okay, we're headed for the floor. Head to the back of your mat. We're gonna tricep push up to a child's pose. Walk forward. Options here is you could do a tabletop push up a knee push-up or a toe push-up. Up to you. Eyes of the elbows forward. We're going push-up and child pose. Think about using your shoulders, your chest, your abs. Go whatever pace works for you. I might slow down my push-ups. Get a little more activation. Stretch it out. That child's pose is to lengthen your low back. Because it is a core workout, 
We're gonna do a lot of front body work, a lot of abs. So I would like to lengthen things so that you can move them well. Really press all 10 finger pads down into your mat. Spread those fingers wide so you have a wide base. Now rest. Nice. Roll the wrists. A little love here. We're headed into a little side plank rotation. I'm going to do this for my forearms. You are welcome to do this from your hands if you like. Option to be on your knees or your toes. You do you, baby. And we're up. Rotate and lower. Rotate and lower. So here's your lower intensity version. If you're just working on the form, building that muscle memory, throw something squishy, a pad, a mat, a towel underneath your knee, and roll to the outer edge of your knee. If you're gonna try the more intense version, come on up to the toes, engage your quads, try to stay in a straight line. You're halfway. Now this is a killer core workout. When I wrote it, I was planning to be sore the next day. Let me know in the comments if you did this workout with me and if it burned found any value from it, make sure you give it a like. Woo. Rotate those hips. Almost there. Got to get even. Get even. Rest. Woo. Bend the knees. Flip your toes forward. We're going to be rolling like a ball, okay? Pilates time. Make sure you have room behind you. Rolling like a ball. You're going to roll all the way to the back. Come back up and hit the brakes. Option to lift your feet up if you can. Here we go. And we roll. Option to let go with your hands. Test your balance. You find a little bit of hang time at the top. Option, toes down. That's fine. Toes up, a little harder. You do you, okay? Try to keep the chin up off the chest so you're not crunching in the neck throughout the workout, honor your spine, okay? Your core is meant to support and move your spine to stabilize it. So if you feel anything in your back that is not strengthening muscles kind of feeling, like more of a pinch or a bite, stop, slow down, check your form. There are so many ways to do each move. Just make sure you're doing them safe. Mindful, rest. Okay, we are officially warm. Go ahead, get a sip of water if you need it. We're headed to our back, face up, obliques. Opposite hand, the opposite foot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my back hand, farthest away from you. So you can see that. Ready, we're on. You can make this more challenging by holding a weight or putting ankle weights on. Try to rotate, peel that shoulder up. Reach for the opposite ankle. Good, good, good. So if you find it a little bit more than you bargained for, bend your knee and bend, or yeah, bend the elbow. <laughs> and just a regular oblique crunch with a knee lift will do you fine. This is the killer version here. <laughs> Aim high, aim high. Chin up, chin up, come on. Let's get it. Last 10. At least I hope it is. I can't see my timer, but I bet you can see a timer. <laughs> Hug those knees in. Rock side to side. You already know what the next exercise is, the other side. So you're gonna plant the foot that was just lifting. Fingertips behind your ears, rest. Get ready for side two. My back leg is long, front leg is gonna crunch. Here we go. Remember your options. You can go slower, you can go faster, you can hold a weight. You can put an ankle weight on. 
Or you could bend your knee and bend your elbow and just put your foot down in between each repetition. Really think about the twist. Exhale all the air out like you're wringing out a sponge. Your obliques, they rotate your torso. So remember that rotation part as you come up. As far as you can, as high as you can. Come on, come on. You're in that last little bit. The hardest part of the exercise, the last 10 seconds. You didn't come this far to only come this far. Finish it. Rest. Woo. Rock those knees right and left. Windshield wiper, baby. We have glute bridges, so you can make this harder by putting a loop on your thighs or holding a weight on your hips. Walk your feet right underneath your knees. Eyes on the ceiling, arms by your side. Ready, lift up, lower down. Bridge, squeeze down with control. Engage your inner thighs. Imagine you have a ball between your knees. Push up and don't let the knees flare. Good, control, control. So your glutes are arguably part of your core because they connect all the way up on your low back. And strong glutes and strong abs help support your low back to help prevent low back pain. Let's go faster. Up, down, up, down, a little quicker. Push into both feet. 50% on the right and 50% on the left. <laughs> I don't even need a weight or a band and I'm feeling it. Sleepy glute syndrome. Because we sit on them all day. Wake them up. Hold this one, hold it. Rest. Woo. Go ahead, hug the knees. Rock right, rock left. We got one more supine exercise and then we'll flip to our sides. Dead bugs. So your knees are gonna come up over the hips. Shins are parallel to the floor. Arms over the shoulders. You can hold light weights if you wanna make this harder. Here we go. Reach opposite arm, opposite leg. Back in, switch it. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Back in. So you're doing a little fighting extension. <laughs> so fight the extension, pull back in flexion. Good. Once again, ankle weights would up level this exercise significantly. Check in that your neck is long. Move that skull up away from your shoulders so you're not turtling in the shoulders and the neck. Good. Come on, are we almost there? 15, don't want the back arch. I'm really fighting the urge. Pull up the back arch, I'm gonna turn the toes out. Stay square in your feet, in your toes, your ankles and knees. And even on both sides. And rest, rock and roll yourself on up. We're gonna turn to face one side. I'm gonna get a sit first. We're headed back to what is technically a glute exercise, but I'm gonna argue that your glutes are part of your core. Elbow under your shoulder, knee under, both knee stack, sorry. <laughs> Double hip stack. We're just gonna open and close a clamshell with the back foot elevated. Open, close. If you have a loop on, holy cow, that's harder. If the shoulder and neck start to fatigue, get tired, you can lay down. It's really about right here, right here. So this workout is not meant to be like a massive calorie burner. Smaller movements mean we're gonna burn less calories. But these are important movements. They're gonna help you on your cardio days to not get injured. To have better form, better stability. Oh, I'm feeling this. <laughs> now we have a little bit of a sequence. We're not going straight to side two. Finish it, finish it. Two, one, rest. So before we do the other side, we're actually gonna do a whole sequence on this side. Go ahead and send your legs out 45. Send your bottom arm out 45. Your top arm, fingertips behind your ear. You're either gonna do a knee bent version 
a straight leg version or a double leg version of side seal. Here we go, one minute. I'm gonna start with the hardest one and then I'll regress if I feel my form falling apart or if I feel I need to. And the fact that we're only 10 seconds in makes me think I'm gonna modify. <laughs> you do you, okay? If you need to modify, do it. So this is a Pilates exercise. I'm gonna come down to single leg seal to maintain my form here on that 45 degree. The best you can right here, come on. Whatever that is, push into your bottom elbow to help lift you up. Last 10. Fight, fight every rep for a stronger you, a better you tomorrow. Rest. Oh. Okay, what you can say is trying to flip over, but it's not. Bottom elbow underneath your shoulder. Make sure it's in a line. Bottom knee bent. Top leg straight, hips in a line. You're gonna reach up into a side plank and then just dip and lift. Option, make it harder. Bottom leg straight. Ready? Here we go, hip dips. Down, up, down, up. This one is tough, okay? This is a tough one. We are working your sides, your shoulder, your bottom leg, abductors. Ooh, I'm gonna go to the modify. <laughs> Come on. Good, fight for good form. You are about halfway. Whatever pace you need to go, you don't have to be on the beat. This one is an interval. So just try to work for the whole minute. Oh gosh. <laughs> Woo, this is killer. Last 10 seconds. Come on, Tara, don't give up. Really push the elbow down. Ow! That one was tough. <laughs> Rise on up. Stand on your bottom leg. Kick out your top leg straight. Open into a T. This is called the candlestick. Also a Pilates favorite. You're just gonna dip your hand into the water. And then come right back up without pushing off. Ready? We're on. Try to let that movement initiate right here. This would be a great workout to do when you are away from home, away from your home gym, where you don't have access to equipment. Maybe you don't want to get super sweaty. Maybe you don't want to wash your hair. Although I am sweating, so it's hard. Try to keep the tension out of your neck. Even though I know your neck is holding up your head, and that's not nothing. Just try to move it lower down. Move that tension down into your torso. Here's the good news. We're gonna do everything on the other side. Rest, pull that knee in, and we're gonna switch sides. So lie on side two, open clamshells. Elbow under shoulder. Knees stacked, hip stacks, and you are gonna lift up your back, your top heel. If your neck is tired, you can lay down, feel free. Here we go. Two and one. Close and open. Come on, come on. Remember your up level. You can put a loop on, you can put ankle weights on. You can even hold a dumbbell right here on your thigh to increase that intensity, right? If it was too easy for you, challenge yourself. If you do this workout a second time, you know what to do to make it harder. You are halfway and fighting, right? We're fighting for every rep. Wake me from this dream. In. I need to get in closer to you. Do it for tomorrow, you. you for see. next week, you. Next year, you. It's gonna be glad that you participated in this workout, that you strengthened your core, your glutes. 
Come on, and maybe your grit. <laughs> Rest. Ooh, okay, bad news. We're headed back to side seal. Bottom arm out 45. Legs out 45. Top hand behind your head. Option right here, a knee bent version. Single leg version. Or if you're crazy, both legs. <laughs> Get ready. Here we go, we're on. Use that bottom elbow to push the floor away. You are balancing on one hip for a moment here. Now I know that that side seal is intense. So that's why I gave you some options before we even got going. So choose what works for you. Holy cow. <laughs> Halfway. Come on. You might regret phoning it in early, but I don't think you're going to regret trying your best right here, right now. The last 15 seconds of this move here. Use your exhale breath. Helps you through the hard part. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Stay on this side. Bottom elbow under the shoulder. You're going to really need to work this arm. Bottom knee under the other knee. So you're in a straight line. We're coming up to our plank. We're hip dipping. You're going to dip down and up. Or option, bottom leg straight. Ready? Here we go. Down and up. Side two is always harder. <laughs> Because it wasn't doing nothing during the whole sequence on side one. And you're a little more fatigued now. So you're going to need to call upon your grit, your motivation, your why. Woo. Halfway. <laughs> and I just took a little break. You could do the same. might not be exactly the same on both sides as far as endurance and strength. I know I'm not. I want to be. I'm striving for symmetry. But the truth is I'm not. Not yet. It's a journey. Three, two, ow! <laughs> Come on up. Stand on the bottom knee. Stretch out the top leg. Set up your candlestick, okay? Roll those shoulders out, get the tension out. Open the arms. Shoulder plates down your back pockets. We're dipping the fingertips to the water. We'll dip and then try to pick it up without pushing off. Here we go. Dip. Back up. Control. Dip. Now we have four more moves after this that are killer core moves here with no equipment. You can do that. It's four more minutes of work. Well, plus this minute. <laughs> four and a half. You can do that. Brace that belly button into your spine. Notice which side was harder for you for this exercise. Awareness. The first step to correcting any imbalance is just first become aware. I am aware. My left side is weaker, but my right side is more stable. And rest. Okay, we are headed to plank, palms under shoulders. If your wrists are dicey, go ahead and go to your knuckles. You could do your elbows, it'll be a little hard for the knee stuff. We're doing three knee tucks with a lift behind. Option, if you wanna be from your knees here, you could just tap back. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go front leg first. Here we go. In, out, in, out. One more. Put it down, switch sides. You got three, two, one. Put it down, side one again. In, out. Put it down. Oh, let's wait for the top phrase. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, try. Other side, three tucks. One, set it down, side one. Here we go. Three, two, 
One. Plant it, rebalance. Side two, in, out, like a mountain climber. Glute lift. In plank. <laughs> Side one. Two. One more. Land it. Switch it. Other side. Three tucks. Stay in plank on this one. And rest. Oh, roll those wrists. Low plank, high plank. Okay. We're going down to the elbows. Back up to the hands. Alternating your lead arm. Okay. One on the right, one on the left. Working those triceps. Working your core, working your shoulders. Feel free to be on your knees. Ready? Here we go. Up, up, down, and switch. Up, down, and switch. So right hand lead, left hand lead. If you're finding yourself really wobbly, you could separate your feet. Or you could plant your knees down. Try to keep your pelvis, your hips, as quiet as possible. Work the shoulders. Work the core. If it was easy, I wouldn't have titled it Killer Core. It's not easy. And I wouldn't quite say this one's fully beginner friendly. Some of it is, but some of it isn't. <laughs> and you know which parts, <laughs> which parts I'm talking about. And we rest. Oh. Okay. Two more. Flip it around on your tailbone. Russian twist. Feel free to hold the weight. If you're feeling crazy, grab a weight right here. Roll it back. Balance on the tailbone. You can lift your legs too if you're feeling crazy. I'm feeling same. Side side. Twist. Twist. Let's see. If the next song inspires me, I'll lift my feet. But I did not bring a weight, so that is not an option for me today. So I can work the range of motion, I can work the speed, I can work the levers, oh, I can work placement, but I can't add resistance right now. Woo -hoo -hoo. Come on, come on. Twist it out, you're over halfway. That's why I said if you're feeling crazy, pick up the weight, because it's a minute, and that's long. Stay safe in that low back. If you feel anything, bring your lower back to the floor and just do oblique twist crunch. Come on, come on, five. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Get even. Rest. Oh, so slippy together. Quick cobblers. Stretch it out. One more move. You can do this. Okay, we got the can-can. Toes are light on the floor. Hands behind you for support. We're gonna rock right, rock left, rock right, and kick, and then do the same thing other way. Here we go. Right, left, hold it here. Kick it out. Left, right, hold it, and kick. See why it's called a can-can now? Can-can. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see where I'm placing my hands. The cool down is right around the corner. Let's get it, earn it. Option, if your low back is not liking this move, put your back on the floor and do the same movement from your back. You go slower. Over halfway. Okay, this is one of those ones that might not be beginner friendly. But guess what? Everyone was a beginner once. You won't always be. Keep coming back. Four, three, two. <laughs> Woo! Stretch out the back here. Bow. Hold. Stop on my timer. Ooh, baby. That's a tough one. <laughs> Sit up tall here. And let's stretch it out. Take one knee in and cross it over the other thigh. Give yourself a twist. Reach one hand back. Look behind you. Look at the neck. Release, untwist, side two, cross it, step it, hug it, and reach back. Look behind you. 
Sorry, we're still jamming. Even though I promise we're cooling down. Cool down song will start soon. Ooh, release it. Go ahead and use your hands for counterbalance. Roll yourself down. Arms overhead. Arch your back here like a little cobra stretch, but on the floor. Take one knee to your chest. Give it a hug. Squeeze tight. Roll your ankle. Yeah, here's the cool down song. <laughs> Take that foot and drop it over to the other side of your mat. Open up that same side arm in a T. A little counterweight with the shoulder. Deep breath. Did you sweat? I did. <laughs> Even though that was not cardio, I felt that. Come back into the middle and we'll switch it other side. Knee to chest, give it a hug. Roll out that ankle. If you liked that workout, make sure you share, like, subscribe, comment, help me out with the algorithm. Take your twist, arm over to the side. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really like that workout. It was hard. <laughs> Maybe I needed that workout. Like, that's not the word I would use. If you found value in that workout is what I should say. <laughs> Roll it back, kick one leg to the sky as you set the other foot down, cross that ankle over your thigh bone. You could just push your thigh open or reach through and hug, little window here. Take an outer hip stretch for the clamshells. Flex your feet, protect your knees, breathe. Be proud of yourself, okay? That was not easy stuff. And even if you just did half of it, that's still a victory. Release, and we'll switch. One foot to the floor, other leg to the sky. Flex your foot, cross it over. You could just push your thigh open with your hand or reach through and hug it. Let your head rest. Let your tailbone be heavy. And even if you just learned one new thing, tried one new move you haven't done quite like that before, that's a victory. Release, uncross. Drop your knees to the front and we'll roll ourselves up. Take your time. Let's do a little windshield wiper. So both knees to the right, both feet to the left. Mermaid stretch. And then switch it, mermaid stretch the other way. Okay, release. Switch that windshield wiper. Knees to the left, feet to the right. Take that mermaid. And switch, hand to the floor for support, reach up. Release, cross your ankles in front. Take your hands to your shins, hollow out your back, chin to your chest, cow, or sorry, cat, with your spine. And then lift it up, cow tilt, lift up the heart, chin up. One more round, hollow it out, stretch. And then arch. Take a big breath in, pull it down to your heart center. Thank you so much for working out with me today. If you like that workout, do all the YouTube things, like, subscribe, share, and I will see you in the next one.